Well, actually, this is a girl, a woman, uh, that I had no idea about until Stefania Moldoviano chose her. Yeah. Uh, Stefania Moldoviano is the class of the La Scuola Miron Costin. Yes. So you see, she is dressed like a nurse and in a kind of ballet skirt because she will tell us about um, a dualist person, Merit Moore, uh, born on February 24th, 1988, in China. Well, actually, one of our, uh, uh, Stefania, in a scooter, pe 27, yeah? Or, the de Maria, pe 28. And I'm on 25th, so I kind of really love this girl. Pentru că, așa cum sunt veștoicele, sunt în atât duale. E și balerină, și physician, and she are a doctorat, yes? Thank you. Hi. Once upon a time, um, there was a girl who loved science and ballet. She was equally talented both, but everyone said, we have to choose science or art, physics or ballet. Mary tried to give up my ballet many times. She even bought her pointy shoes. But she always started dancing again. Eventually, she joined Zurich Ballet Company and became a professional ballerina. At the same time, she was also researching physics at Harvard University. One time, she would be in the lab. Uh, excuse me. One time, she would be in her tutu and pointy shoes, and the next, she would be in the lab coat. It was hard. Sometimes, I felt overwhelmed, she said. Um, I would stay in the lab for 20 hours a day, even sleeping there, but I knew I had to dance. She would take a break from work, uh, sneak out to a stairwell, and practice ballet dress there. Um, when she did, she found that she came back with a fresh perspective, and she discovered that physics helped her understand ballet too. I think it's, for, it's so important for scientists to explore art. You have to think about concepts with imagination and creativity. And um, the two parts of her life came together beautifully in a dance piece called Zero Point, which explored a concept from quantum physics and uh, called Zero Point Energy. Today, Meredith is finishing her PhD at Oxford University and she still keeps dancing. Her favorite quote is from one of the greatest scientists in history, Albert Einstein. To keep, uh, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you have to keep moving. So that's just what Meredith intends to do. Thank you. Thank you.